With the full Ryzen family finally here, it's time to stop asking whether you should buy a Ryzen CPU and start asking which one you should buy. As it turns out, the answer is pretty simple. We ran every Ryzen 3, 5, and 7 CPU through a full set of synthetic and real-world benchmarks, as well as a string of gaming tests. And at the end of it all, we came to a surprisingly straightforward set of conclusions. First up, we ran the chips through a series of synthetic benchmarks. As expected, the higher-end Ryzen 7 chips with more cores tended to dominate these results. The Ryzen 7 1800X in particular managed to encode video and compress files much faster than less expensive alternatives. Whether it's a good value or not is a different story. Our gaming tests were a bit more interesting. The 3 d Mark synthetical graphical benchmark scaled well with both the GTX 1080 Ti and RX 580 GPUs, but that's a best case scenario for performance. There was a steady climb in average frame rate during both Deus Ex Mankind Divided and Civilization VI testing with the higher end GTX 1080 Ti, but not with the RX 580. With the GPU fully taxed, all of the CPUs, even the lowest end Ryzen 3 1200, ran at almost the exact same frame rate. That's good news for mid-range system builders looking for a low-cost CPU, although the Ryzen 3 1300X offered a substantial performance jump outside of gaming over the most budget-friendly chip for just a $20 price difference. At the end of the day, actually choosing which Ryzen CPU to buy is super easy. Building a budget rig for gaming? You want the Ryzen 3 1300X. Putting a mid-range to high-end gaming PC together? Pick the Ryzen 5 1600X. Need a workstation? Then you want the Ryzen 7 1700. Intel still has some advantages when it comes to per-core performance, but whichever Ryzen CPU you buy, you'll be getting a chip that's extremely capable of handling today's modern workloads. 